Site123 tutorial how to create a free website. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on Site123 and how you can create a free website with different styles and layouts. So let's get into it. So first of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to go to app.site123.com or you can simply search for Site123 and click on the first link. It will take you right here. Site123 is a website editor that allows you to create a website for free and it's actually really easy to use. So let's get started with our website. Once you get on Site123, you will get this start here button on the website. So you're going to click on start here. What type of website do you want to create? So we have three steps that we need to uh, complete. If you want to create a website, online store, blog or landing page. So I'm looking to create a website today. Now we have different types of websites that we can create with Site123. We have business, handyman services, restaurants and food, photography, event, music, community and more. So I'm creating a business website. Now we have step two, give your business a name or uh, give your website a name. Whatever website you're creating, you will enter the name right here. So for me, it's going to be CJ Marketing. Now click on go to final step. This is going to be signing our process to start my website. So we can actually sign up with our uh, phone number or email address, or we can use our Facebook and Google accounts. So I'm just going to sign up with my Google account. And now it's loading my editor where I will be able to create a website. So here we have our editor on Site123. It's actually really easy to get to the editor of Site123. It's one of the most easiest uh, website builder that I have actually experienced. And you can see it's very similar to what we have on Webflow, the outlook of the editor. So let me show you around. We have pages where I will be able to see the pages that we got. So we got a home about service and contact for a business website. Uh, then we have add a new page. So this is where I will add a new page for my website. I'll also be able to edit the pages, create duplicate pages or delete a page. So it's under pages here. Then we have design. In design, I have colors, fonts, header, footer and website structure. And then we have some of the other settings that we uh, where we have a website name, website type, country. Then we have website languages and app settings and plugins too. We also have a domain option. So this is where you will select the domain for your website. So you will select the domain, for instance, if this one is available and you will be able to buy a domain here or connect a domain that you already have. So if you already have a domain, you will click right here. You can see already on a domain. Click here for more info. So you will connect your domain or get a new unique domain with site one, two, three. So once your domain is done as well, we can get to the editing of the website. First of all, we have pages. We have home. This is what home looks like. Then we have an about page looking pretty good, very simple. And then we have services page. And then we have a contact page. So here, first of all, let's change the uh, website name. You just click on the text and change the name here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add my website name. And here we have different images in the background. We actually have an image and I want to change that. So I'm going to select the image and you can see it says choose image or we can browse an image uh, from this library here. So this is our image library where I will be able to choose from different images. Select the image from here and it will be uploaded to the section that you have selected. So now this is what it looks like. Then we have a tagline here that I want to change, of course, according to my business. And it will look like this. So this is how you will upload different images. We also have an edit and layout option on that section, uh, the section that we have selected. Now we can move on to the about page here. So in about, we have a text added and I can change the text. If you want to add another section between your website, we have this plus button here. So click on plus and it will allow you to add a new page. So there are two ways to add a new page. In new page, we have different types of pages. For instance, we have an event page. We have services, team, features, blog, store, pricing table, restaurant menu. Then we have jobs. We have numbers. We have different customers, single video, countdown, music player, donate and more. So you will be able to select a lot of different pages from here. You can see we have contact page, text page, gallery, portfolio, sales and more. So I'm going to go to the portfolio section and check out if I can find something uh, or I can go to the team where I will be able to add my team members to. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this one right here for the team or we can see if we have a team page already. We have an about page actually. And then we got the services and then we got the content. Okay, we do not have a team page. So after about, I'm going to add a team page. 
So I'm going to go to teams and I will select this one. So it will be added right here. Adding a new page is really easy. You can just uh, hit this plus button and a page will be added. So the using this editor is actually really easy and you can see how easy it is to customize your website. So here we have our about. So in our about, we have this image. Let's edit it out. So in this image, again, I'm going to upload an image from my computer this time. How we can do that? You select the image and then you can actually instead of uh, you know, choosing from here, you will upload. So you click on choose image, upload image, library, video library, or more. So I'm going to click on upload and upload an image right here. So you can see the image has been uploaded. Uh, if you want to edit a page, you will get the edit option here too. Click on edit and it will open up different things about the page. So we have a menu name, which is going to be about page. Then it's showing me the image that I have. If you have a text, it will show you the text too. So we can edit a page this way too. And we can also change the layout. Let's say I'm not satisfied with the layout that I have right now. And I want to change that. So I can do that and I can select different layouts. So this is the layout that has been selected right now. But for instance, I want to go for something like this. So I will select this layout and it will be changed. So we can change the entire layout of a page. And this one is actually looking more, you know, professional now. And I'm satisfied with this one. Moving on, I actually added a theme page. So with theme, again, we have a different layout that we can select, we can add it a page and we can even add it the background. If you want to add uh, different elements to a page, then you're going to go to the design section here and you can go to the colors and change the background color. Then we have uh, fonts here. You can change the font and we have a header and footer option. So if you want to customize the header, you will be able to see different things here. In header, if you want to show phone number, you will be able to do so. Show email, show location address, and then we have social networks. So I'll, let's go with social networks here and the social networks will be added in my header. So right here, this is our header and you can see socials will be added. I'm going to enable this one and we can click on edit to add my social profiles to that, uh, you know, icons. We can add the socials here. So I'm going to go with a social link. Let's, for instance, add Facebook. So we can add different Facebook, Twitter and WhatsApp links here and we can also select the icon. So you can do that, of course, uh, when you will be creating a website. Uh, when it comes to pages, let's go back. And uh, if I want to customize the contact page here, uh, then again, we can just click on edit and we will be able to edit different uh, elements on a page that we have. We are also getting different views. So if you want to switch to a mobile view of your website, you will be able to do so. And then we have desktop tablets and new window. Uh, here in new page, we have this drop down where it says new categories. We can create different categories to different pages here and create drop down menus. And then I can show you how to edit a footer. So you're going to scroll down all the way to the footer here. Click on edit footer. And now we have different options here. We have floating contact button. Uh, then we have share button, social networks. So I'm going to go with a share button here. Click on edit. And we have different buttons that we can add. We can also change the button color accordingly and the name of the button too. Then we have show mailing list, then we have promotion pop-ups, team of services, privacy policy, cookie content, and then layouts too. So these are going to be the plus features for site 123, but we can actually do a lot within site 123 without uh, the, you know, a pro version of it. Uh, so you can see, I will be able to create a website, get started with it. And then there are a few features that are not available for free. So you can see this one is, um, I have enabled this one. And then I can add more pages. For instance, I want to add a page here. Click on add button and we can maybe add a gallery or charts, FAQ. We also have customer pages. We have testimonials. We have music, blog, events, schedule booking and app market too. So I can add a schedule booking. Again, we have different layouts available. We have like page templates. So you can work on these templates and customize your website completely. A very professional and very simple website can be created uh, with site one two three uh if i switch to design now let's go to the colors so in colors you will be able to see we have main colors which is like this gray and we have white so let's change that uh, let's change this color to maybe something else and i want to change it to blue so let's do that and I will change it completely. Now you can see all of the different buttons, all of the different text that I have. And you can see the header, the lines, all of these are changed into this color. And now I, I can, of course, change it a little bit. It's way too darker. I'm going to make it a little lighter. 
like this okay this is actually a pretty good color now it's showing me all of the different backgrounds that i can change with this one and we can select a layout so maybe i can go with this layout right here and it will change the background colors accordingly this is how you change colors and then we have fonts in fonts it's showing me we have this font here this one is for the heading and this is for the body text and we have other fonts available too let's say i want to go for this one so i'll just select the font and it will change the font of my website completely we can also add a custom font from here you can see a custom font and top menu font content font custom and typography and i'll be able to select it you can see the font has been actually changed for my website here then we have settings here we have website name website type and country local and domain as i showed you so once your website is done, you feel like you have edited all of the different pages and you have added different elements, you have customized it completely according to you, you change your text. I didn't change the text here. Of course, you will. You can add as many pages as you want. You will add different context uh, pages. You will customize each page by just clicking on edit or a click on settings. So this is how you will customize this. Once it's done, you can get a preview. I'm going to get a mobile preview as well quickly. So we have a better idea what it looks like. You can see the website looks pretty good. I'm actually really impressed with site 123. So once it's done, we have the publish option here. And then we have this option here, publish changes, and then we have reset changes. Click on publish and your website that you created with site 123 will be published. That's how easy it is to create a site with site 123. It will allow you to get started for free and create a website. So yeah, guys, I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.